Hello creative designers and welcome on to the story. My name is Peter. Hello to the story. We're just going to see how we can be able to add new law to our WordPress website. We're just going to add it all for free. And when you just follow this story, you just be able to even add all add some light to all to already existing loads. For instance, well, when you just go to loads, we have administrator, we have all the contributors and so on. For instance, today I just added uh, this article writer and we and with this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can be even be able to add the capabilities, the light, and all that. You can uh, you can limit them from accessing some of the features from the uh, from the dashboard, and you can also limit them from adding maybe some posts, pages, and all that with these capabilities. And the other thing is, is that we are going to also uh, be able to limit some admin features, admin menu. But some of them you may need to have the pro version but with this pre version we're just going to have it's going to work very well for us for instance i have just uh, i have some few users in my website here here i have user one who is a shop manager and i just want to limit some few features so i just need to go to the capabilities here and i select uh, capabilities here we just go see how we can limit some features and uh, let me just go to admin menu for the quick uh preview and show you how uh, admin features and show you how it's gonna work so i'm just going to limit uh the user shop manager uh, here i just going to let me just remove this one and admin toolbar and with that i save the changes from there now here we have the true user and you can you you can see is the user one here and you can see we have so many other features here you can even have the screen option help and all that so once i refresh remember i have just limited it you see they just disappear and you don't have even the logout and all that with the plugin with that plugin i'm going to show you how you can be able to set many many more features all for free and without further ado let's just get into action and i show you how we're just going to achieve all of that all for free using a free plugin So the first thing we just need to do, we need to just go to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu scroll now we have the plugin and on Hoofa we have these three options, select the second option because we need to install a free plugin that is going to assist us on achieving all the, uh, all the features. Then on search here, search for capabilities, here we have, it's called publish press capabilities, publish, publish press capabilities, user or user or access, editor permission and admin menu, it's from publish press. You see, it has just a, a thousand active installation last updated just a week ago. So we install the plugin. After successful installation of the plugin, we just need to activate the plugin. With that, now uh, when we just go, when we just refresh here, we have now on the dashboard menu. Now you have the button for the capabilities, and from here you can see there's so many other features that you can be able to add. From there, the first thing you just need to uh, the first thing you can just do with this plugin is that you can be able to add a new role when you just hover on it and select loads. And here you see all the existing loads. You can be able to delete a role here. And you can also uh, be able to edit a role from this point here. So if I decide now to edit for customer, I just click here. And I can be able to edit uh, even the name here. And you just give it an, another name. Another name. From there, if you just want to add a new row, all you just need to do is uh, click this add new button and you can be able to uh, add a new. And the other thing you just need to do is select advanced, you need to set load. If, uh, for these load levels, you just, all you just need to do, uh, all you just need to know is that zero is the list. It has uh, zero uh, for the subscribers, mostly is related to zero. And it just goes up to number 10, where the number 10 is the administrator who has all the power for the website. So it's upon you to choose uh, the number depending on the rank. You just want to rank the level you just want to create. So for for instance, for me, I just want to add the level as number three and I create the role. So when I just go back here to loads, I can be able to uh, see now we have just added article writer as our you know we can be able to delete it from here and you can see the capabilities it's number four and all that it has the uh, no capabilities uh four and all that so you don't have to worry about that i'm just going to show you how you can be able to add all that 
The other thing is that now we, we can be able now to set up the capabilities. The capability is just giving their own a right or whatever the access they can be able to have in the dash in the back end of your website. That is in the uh, uh, the dashboard, uh, admin dashboard. So all just need to do is just select. Is all just need to do is select the. Uh, they really just want to edit or give the permission or the one that you just want to limit the permission like for instance i just select other and you can see how that has uh the power to edit a post and publish a post but it cannot be able to edit others people post so if you just want the editor uh the other to be able to edit other people's post just click on this if you want to Edit private post. You can just give him the permission. If you want to him to him, uh, if you want the other to be able to edit the pages, or just need to do is just give this permission here. Just tick and give the permissions that you just need. That how you can be able to select all of them. So uh, from there, from there now, this this about uh, the first one is just about editing. So it's about editing a page, post, media, and all that. If you just want to give him the, uh, the other, the power to edit a product, just need to just stick on this, stick on this. Just give him uh, the, uh, the power to just that. If you want, uh, if you just want the other to be able now to edit the capabilities for maybe categories or tag, all you just need to do is save the changes. And now on the other end, the edit and the other will have that power. So the other thing is that deletion. Then now he is just giving he the other the power to delete either a post, uh, to delete a published post, to delete private post, and uh, to delete for others. Uh, we have also to delete the pages and all that. So you can also give him or her the other the right to lead. Uh, the post pages and all that it will depend on how you just want so the other thing is you can give uh the other the power to delete uh maybe to activate a plugin to create a user delete plugin all those features are included here all you just need to do is just take where necessary or the right or the privilege you just want to offer for that particular user and after that remember to save the changes from there now we have the once you're done with that just go ne next to the uh the next role and do the same as we have done for the previous one just give them the role they they need uh the privilege they need depending on how on how you just have ranked or how you just added your users or your roles in your website then from there now we go to editor role to editor features from here, these are the editor features. We're we'll just going to post here. Let me just go to post and I show you how. I'm just going to create a new. Depending on the editor you're using, you may decide to limit them on what features they can access. The first thing you just need to select the the user here. Then the other thing is, are you using a Gutenberg or a classic editor in your website? So you may decide to limit some features on which they can be able to access or those features that they are going to use in the when they are writing all editing the editing the post then from there we have the admin features these admin features are the one like for instance when i go to this dashboard here these are, are all admin features that you can be able to limit them so when i just come here i can be able to limit some few of them like for instance uh Remember here, we denied the user the access to uh, to this point here. So you may decide to limit those features uh, from this end here. So all you just need to do is go selecting the one you just want to hide from that particular role here. Remember first of all to select the role here. And then scroll here and tick those unnecessary uh, privilege that you have offered to that particular role and you hide them the other thing uh some of them are you must need a pro you may need a pro version for you to be able to limit them the other thing is admin menu for admin menu uh this the here whatever that up comes in here 
you may need uh, this one is required a pro version it all depend on how you just want to limit all of them the other thing is the navigation menu all you just need to do is you need a pro version for you to be able to limit all of them to include all those many other features then from there you may need to back up your features you may need to back up your rules and all that for easy restoration you can be able to uh, to list off the features maybe in time of backup and all that or maybe in other time you just want to you mean uh, you may this is the restoration the one that had been backup you can create a manual backup automatically here you can reset all uh, wordpress to default all those rules to default you can export the features and then you can import and apply to a new another website that you have that's the tutorial for today i hope you did learn something out of this tutorial i did much uh i may have gone through it fast but those are the basic that you may just need for you to be able to use or to apply all these features in your website I hope you didn't learn something out of this tutorial. If you didn't learn something out of this tutorial, hit the thumbs up for this tutorial. If you're new here, consider subscribing. There's more tutorials are on the way about on how you can be able to create and use your website so easily. Uh, your word, you can be able to use your WordPress so easily and set up so many other things easily. Till next time, my name is Peter. Thank you.